Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover absolute value equations with one solution and absolute value equations with no solution. We will take a look at equations with one solution first, and then we will move on to equations with no solution. Going through the examples will help us understand these types of equations, and then it will also help us recognize absolute value equations with one solution or no solution. Let's jump into number one, where we have the absolute value of x equals zero. Now remember, the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. So what does x have to equal here? Well, zero. There's only one possibility, one solution. X equals zero. And that's our one solution. So let's compare that to another example here. Let's say we have the absolute value of y equals seven. Now here we have two possibilities, two solutions. Y can equal seven or y can equal negative seven. The absolute value of seven is seven, and the absolute value of negative seven is seven. So y equals seven, or y equals negative seven. We have two solutions. So keep in mind, when we have the absolute value of something and it equals zero, we have one solution because whatever is inside of the absolute value has to equal zero. Let's move on to number two and take a look at another example. We have the absolute value of 5m minus 15 equals zero. Now here we know that 5m minus 15 has to equal zero because the only possibility to make this work is zero. The absolute value of zero equals zero. So in order to find the solution, we need to solve 5m minus 15 equals zero. And this will give us one solution. In other situations, we have to write and solve two equations, one equal to a positive and one equal to a negative. But here, we only have one option, zero. So now we need to solve, so let's isolate m. We need to undo the subtraction first, so let's add 15 to the left side of the equation. That means we need to add 15 to the right side as well. The 15s on the left side cancel each other out, so we have 5m equals, and then on the right side, 0 plus 15 gives us 15. So we have 5m equals 15. Let's divide the left side of the equation by five and divide the right side by five as well. These fives cancel each other out. So m is now isolated. And then on the right side, 15 divided by five gives us three. So m equals three. That's our solution, our one solution. And we can check this solution by plugging it in for m. So let's come to the side here. We have the absolute value of five times three minus 15 equals zero. So five times three gives us 15. So now we have the absolute value of 15 minus 15. 15 minus 15 is zero. And the absolute value of zero is zero. So we are correct, m equals three. So there you have it. There are a couple of examples of absolute value equations with one solution. Just remember, if you have an equation where the absolute value is equal to zero, you'll have one solution. And this is the case whether the absolute value equation is already isolated and equal to zero, like these examples, or if you need to isolate the absolute value first and then it ends up being equal to zero, you'll have one solution for that as well. So there is our one solution section. Let's move on to absolute value equations with no solution. Let's take a look at absolute value equations with no solution. Now keep in mind, 
The absolute value of something, whether it's a number or an expression, cannot be negative. It cannot equal a negative. The absolute value of something is always going to be positive or zero, so keep that in mind. Let's jump into number one, where we have the absolute value of x equals negative five. Now again, and this is very important, the absolute value of something cannot be negative. There's no way to make this work here. There isn't anything x can equal, and the absolute value will equal negative five. Now you may be thinking, how about negative five? Well, the absolute value of negative five is five, so that won't work. There is no solution for this equation. Let's move on to number two and take a look at another example. We have the absolute value of w plus seven equals negative 11. So again, for this one, we have the absolute value and it equals a negative. There's no way to make this equal negative 11. No way to make that absolute value equal negative 11. So this is another example of an equation with no solution. And then lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have negative two times the absolute value of three a minus 14 equals 16. Now for this one, it doesn't equal a negative, but the absolute value hasn't been isolated yet. That's our first step whenever we have an absolute value equation. We need to get the absolute value by itself on one side of the equation. So let's use the inverse operation here and divide the left side by negative two. That means we need to divide the right side by negative two as well. These negative twos cancel each other out and the absolute value of 3a minus 14 is now isolated and that equals, and then on the right side, 16 divided by negative two gives us negative eight. So now we have the absolute value of 3a minus 14 equals negative eight. We have our absolute value isolated now but it equals a negative. So this is going to be no solution as well. So there you have it. There are some examples of absolute value equations with one solution and no solution. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.